A lot of you guys have been asking about the gearbox that I'm using. Um, it's, you know, I'm calling it a differential, but it's really just a right angle gearbox. As you can see, when I turn the input shaft, both of the output shafts turn in the same direction, a differential they would turn opposite directions, um, or there might be some slip. But in this case, it's just a right angle gearbox. Again, this is out of a, a Polaris four-wheel drive ATV. The uh, splines are a 22 spline, and they take uh, a unique universal joint. And as you can see, this universal joint has the splines on it. Nice thing is you just slide it in here. And then instead of using a, um, a roll pin to secure it, I'm actually using uh, a grade eight bolt uh, through there to just make this assembly easy rather than having to drive a, a roll pin out every time. Uh, another thing that's unique about this um, drive shaft, if you look at it, this yoke and that yoke, they should be in line with each other. Uh, right now they're cocked at about a 60 degree angle. When running the cart, there's a lot of wobble in the drive shaft, so I think it's due to this uh, misalignment of the shaft. So uh, I, the plan is to cut the shaft and I've got a, a chromoly tube that's gonna act as a sleeve. And that's gonna be about four inches long and we'll cut it, realign it, and then weld the sleeve in and uh, hopefully that'll do the trick. And I may even take it to a driveline shop to see if I can get it balanced. But yeah, so this is the Polaris um, differential slash gearbox. And if you're looking on eBay, see that part number 1341323. Uh, you can search for that, just say Polaris 1341323 and you'll find these on eBay. You know, they're anywhere from, I've seen them as low as 50 bucks to uh, thousands of dollars if they're brand new. This one's in pretty rough shape. We'll clean it up a little bit, uh, but overall it does the job. There's no, no leaks. It's not sloppy or anything. So I'm happy with it. Have a great one. Cheers. Greetings. Today uh, we're going to reinstall the drive shaft and uh, rear differential for the cart. I've, um, in the past hour I reassembled the drive shaft with uh, some new yokes. Uh, you may remember I talked about the drive shaft being out of phase. This is the modified version. Cut the shaft and installed a four inch long sleeve over the, ha over the two halves of the drive shaft. Welded it and then also added what we call a couple rosette welds. Uh, in between and those rosette welds weld the sleeve to the tube or to the drive shaft and this thing's all in phase now so hopefully it's going to run a lot smoother crossing fingers um, so yeah we'll get the drive reinstalled realign the sprocket Okay, so I've got everything back together. I'm gonna to start the cart up again, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, let's do it.
Okay, so it actually ran a lot smoother now. I think that. Good, are you? So it ran a lot smoother now. I think the new uh, revised drive shaft is uh, much improved. Let me show you another shot of it running. Okay, so here we add a different angle. You'll see the drive shaft spinning here in just a second. As you can see, it's a lot smoother. Let's see if we can do some uh, slow motion video. 